Welcome to Hemisphere CTV. Now guys, this video is about savouring and I suppose it is on the back of yesterday, kind of adding more points onto that um, and reflecting on it in a few different ways. Um, yeah, and I think it's a massive debate as of the moment, especially on Twitter. There's so many comments going around. Some people want him to stay, some people want him to go. Um, there's just so many opinions and it is interesting to hear them. Um, apart from when you keep getting people tweeting you and atting you and some people being a bit nasty but that is what it is um and everyone is entitled to their own opinion but it's just how you um kind of put that opinion across and how you talk to people um but yeah so guys i have got about six points i do want to run through and this is a controversial video because as i said everyone has their own opinion on this so make sure guys comment down below all your thoughts and opinions and how you feel about this because i am interested to hear what you guys have to say <coughs> I do read your opinions um yeah and it's interesting because this is obviously a massive debate and it's just here diff well interesting to hear what different sides of the party have to say so first of all let's just say this I think people are quick to forget about our unbeaten record with Sarri at the start of the season yeah things are going downhill now it's going terribly it's not great but I just think that people forget too quickly um when we when we had an unbeaten record, um, I went to many games and fans were singing Savory chants from the stands. Um, not only that, everyone was calling him Savory Ball. And now they're calling him, saying that he's not Savory Ball anymore because we're losing like we are and, and stuff. And we've had a big mixture of results. And I just feel like some fans are just so quick to jump their opinions all the time yeah it's not great we know it's not great but at the end of the day if you support Chelsea football club you support Chelsea football club you get behind the team and I just think that fans how do I say this in a way that isn't too controversial just fans are very loyalties change very quickly and I just don't like it um, and it's been the same for so long now um, and I as a fan when I look at other fans being so unloyal I just can't get that I can understand why frustrations are rising for sure because it's not on and it's not good enough but I just think that fans just quickly jump around all the time and just like suddenly say savvy out like it's a quick instant reaction let's just say this if we suddenly go and beat Manchester City in the cup some people might think oh my god Emma that's not going to happen but let's just say we beat them in the cup everything changes again um fans are just so quickly to jump all the time and I just think it's an instant reaction from people all the time I just think people need to slow down with that like yeah things aren't aren't going great at the moment that's maybe an understatement but just chill out like things will be okay um now for let's talk about past managerial roles roles point two Josie and Conte for example um time and time again we see managers coming and going and it never really fixes anything we always get back to square one um with Jos Mino, we had success. With Antonio Conte, we had success. It always keeps going back to square one all the time. So these fans that are suddenly piping up now saying, get Sarri out. So who do you want to come in? Who's going to fix the problem? Because it isn't going away. We saw this time, time again. Managers coming in and out, in and out. So who do you want to bring in? Are they going to be any different? Or is it just going to be the same old story? The calm have a little bit of success and go. Yes, yeah, Sarri hasn't yet had that success. But give him time. You never know. We've got the Europa League. We've got the Cup. We've got the FA Cup. We've got all the Cups. And I just think fans are just so quickly to just suddenly say, Sarri out. Who are you going to bring in then? Who's going to change it at this point in the season? And I don't just blame Sarri. I blame the players as well. So who's going to change the players around, you know? transfers what's what's happening there that's not going to change you know so when people are saying savvy out i actually would like that puzzle to be added up and who you want to bring in and if they are actually going to change the situation because i saw a lot of stuff over the last 24 hours about people saying the one savvy out is not good enough well who are you going to bring in then oh i can turn this is like starting to turn into a rant i can feel myself getting frustrated because i'm so passionate about this now, also, people turn when we're losing. Um, you just need loyalty, trust in, to give it time. Um, and I just feel like some fans just care about the silverware all the time. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's amazing and it's important. We all like success. We all like to see our um, team 
like lift the trophy but you just need to give situations time and you just need to have that loyalty and trust in a manager and um, if you just care about the silverware and always lifting the trophies all the time it's it's worrying because it's just not gonna always happen you are gonna have these blips and yeah as I said I'm not gonna lie I do love seeing us win trophies like that's all a fan loves and dreams of seeing but when the team do that but at the end of the day that's not always gonna happen so you just gotta have that bit of trust and loyalty there next thing point four um yeah the manager controls everything on the pitch but the players are playing the game at the end of the day. Yeah, Savvy, for example, might have got it wrong yesterday because we obviously lost 6-0. But at the end of the day, yeah, Savvy controls it. He picks the team lineups, etc., etc., And he controls the process. But at the end of the day, it is that 11 players out on the pitch. Savvy isn't on the field. It's 11 players. And... Yeah, the manager, as I said, controls the team, how they perform, etc. But at the end of the day, it's also the players. It's, it's like that manager... And players kind of situation yeah he's in control but the players are there doing it at the end of the day so you've just got to think about that i just think once again yeah the players aren't good enough because a lot of people are just blaming savvy for this and i don't get me wrong i saw some fans saying yeah um, sorry got it wrong but the players aren't good enough but a, a massive minority of people are just saying sorry's not good enough well, what about them players i don't necessarily think that them players are putting up their heart and soul into every game they're coming across at the moment and i'm not going to name names but i just feel like certain players that just aren't putting in enough effort and they just don't want it that much so at the end of the day some of them players on that pitch just care about care about the money going into the bank account, that paycheck they keep getting every week from the club. And at the end of the day, it's just a job to them. They don't care. But then there's certain players that really do want it and generally do are playing for the badge. And I just, again, it comes back to that full circle. And I've said about this before. It's about that legends thing, isn't it? Like, we, we're lacking, like, a legend like John Terry or Frank Lampard, like, a leader within the side. Um, so, yeah, when things are suddenly going wrong... Who's to pick the team up? So, John Terry or Frank Lampard wouldn't have let that stand. If they had went into the dressing room with the team 4-0 down at half-time yesterday, you know what I mean? Like, they would have went crazy. Um, yeah, I keep saying that this is the fifth point. A lot of people are saying on social media, Sarri's never won anything. No one was saying that, talking about that when he necessarily come in. No one was talking about that when he has an unbeaten record. So why is everyone at the club um, at the start of the season? So why is everyone bringing that up now? It has no relevance to the situation. Maybe he hasn't won any silverware, but maybe he will, you know? And then this final point is, and I did mention it a bit earlier on, what about if we beat City in the cup final? Everything changes. It's not over yet. And I am seeing, like, some people posting videos and stuff, like, savvy out, savvy out. Who are we going to bring in? There's so many routes into this situation. That's a problem. It's not... that The easy way out is sacking Savory. That, that's my, my take on it. The easy way is just sack him. It's not the easy way for the fans or the club. That That isn't the easy way out. The easy way out... Well, I wouldn't necessarily say the easy way out. But I don't think it would benefit the fans or the club Savory going. But it's an easy way out for the club to just sack him like that. But that's not that's not the solution to this issue. There's a lot of issues. And it just keeps happening time and time again. Like, you get excited when a new manager comes in. Everyone thought things were going to be different when Sarri come. And they haven't been. And it's just, it's just time and time again the same issue. It's just an absolute joke. And, yeah, happened with Mourinho. Happened with Conte. Probably going to happen with Sarri. And we're just seeing it time and time again. Things are escalating drastically again. Things never really, like... When things happen at Chelsea, bad things happen. They happen bad, you know? Like, they are happening bad right now. It's not just, like, a little fluke, all this. Like, we lost 4-0 against Bournemouth and 6-0 against Manchester City. Like, when things crumble, they crumble. It just drastically happens and it's just... You just slide down the slope kind of thing. Things can be okay. It's not just, like, a 1-0 loss against Man City and him and their results. It's, like... It drastically goes downhill. And this happened with Savory 
um, sorry, Antonio Conte, like, when we lost against Watford and Bournemouth, like, we did away, like, things just happen very seriously, and um, all of a sudden, so things aren't good, um, I don't even really have an opinion on what to say about that, but I don't want Sarri out, fans that do want him out, fair enough, but I'd love to hear who you'd want in, and if they'd change the situation this far into the season, um, and I also would love for all them people that are blaming Sarri and wanting Sarri out, I'd love to hear as to what they've got to say about them players because they're at the fault as well. And some people bit back at me yesterday saying that I thought Sarri got it all right, etc, etc, and I must be delusional and stuff. I've had all sorts of messages and stuff. Well, actually, I never once said that Sarri got it right yesterday. That didn't come out of my mouth. I just said, imagine blaming Sarri. I said that on Twitter, imagine blaming Sarri for it. I didn't say that it was completely blameless. I just said, imagine blaming it all on Sarri, the result. Because it wasn't all Sarri's fault. There was 11 players out on the field. Yeah, Sarri made some mistakes with the team selection, etc. Et et he maybe didn't help himself. But at the end of the day, there were still 11 players out on the pitch. Enough said. Case goals. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, that's all I've really got to say. Up the channel. Thanks.